We were commissioned by the Greater London Authority to undertake a mapping review of ESOL provision in the capital. It's a really big issue in London as many residents have a need for high quality English language provision and in fact most of the nation's provision is in fact delivered in London. Um, this was made even more urgent by the uh, involvement of some London boroughs involvement in Syrian refugee resettlement and the Greater London Authority were keen to understand how ESOL provision could best meet their needs but also to inform wider ESOL policy development, particularly in the context of the adult education budget, which pays for most ESOL provision being devolved to London. So what we were able to do uh, was a stakeholder engagement exercise. We reached over 25 stakeholders through interviews and focus groups. We also surveyed over 72 ESOL providers in just a four or five week window. Um, the findings that we got showed that many providers of ESOL uh, are oversubscribed, around about half of providers reported that demand exceeded supply of provision, and that rose to two thirds of colleges uh, that responded to our survey. We also found that the average number of teaching hours offered to ESOL students was just five and a half hours a week, and the Home Office's guidance for resettled refugees is that they should be offered eight hours a week ESOL classes. We found a range of other issues with accessing provision, particularly around the information that is available about what classes are running where, uh, which kinds of learners are they suitable for, uh, are they free, and, and so on, and a number of barriers such as childcare preventing people from accessing classes. We made a number of recommendations on the basis of the research to the Greater London Authority and we were really pleased to see uh, some in impact from that in terms of uh, the profile given to ESOL in the Mayor's Skills for Londoners strategy uh, and the social integration strategy that was published shortly after that. Uh, we were really pleased to see the Greater London Authority undertaking further piloting, again following on from some of the report's recommendations around ways in which employers can be persuaded to support ESOL provision and how childcare can be used to uh, support access to ESOL provision. We were also pleased to see that the uh, report was cited in the Ministry for Housing, Communities and Local Governments Integrated Communities Strategy Green Paper.